good afternoon. It's a much chillier feeling day today, and that will lead us into a colder night tonight. However, further east, we've got an area of low pressure. There's also some very brisk winds, particularly across Wales. There's a wind warning in force for the next few hours, but the winds will remain fairly brisk as well into this evening. Oh, how are we doing? <laughs> it has been a while. I'm slowly recovering from a broken rib. So I'm out finally. It's been hard, both uh, physically and mentally, having to stay in for the last nearly four weeks. Um, not been able to do a lot. So I'm coming out now to camp on a mountain before, uh, before I go up the mountain and pitch up. I'm going to be just popping down to a little waterfall down here, have a little cup of tea and um, yeah, lovely little waterfall there. Uh, it's a nice little walk down to. I've got to cross this, I hope I don't fall in. <laughs> oh, it's a bit tricky just here, I think. I hope it's a bit Oh, 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 yeah. Sweet. Wow, that's nice. I've literally walked for about 10 minutes here back to get here. And my mood's lifted already. Why didn't I do this ages ago? Oh my god. I'm so stupid sometimes. been here before but it's, uh, it's, it's been more rain recently so it's uh, a lot more <laughs> it's a lot more water oh, that's great this is with the stir couple but um, a whole group of kids turned up well actually teenagers and adults I'll show you what they're doing now looks fun but awfully cold right <laughs> I didn't leave because they all turned up I was already just about to get ready to go anyway and the guy comes on and says I was just about to disturb your peace for five minutes there's about 20 of you mate that's going to take more than five minutes but anyway i'm off now anyway back up there back up to the car get the big rucksack on and then more uphill hiking rib feels fine though that's good Walking up here now and just done all that. Well, if that ain't enough, I've still got to go up there. 
Ah. It's super windy up here. Most of the chats to do they need to come into the camera, which is good because I don't really like doing it that much. But, oh yeah, the views are stunning, absolutely buzzing to have come out. Oh, good life. I'm walking up there and thinking, oh, this is tiring, what am I doing? And I'm like, oh, am I enjoying this? Of course I'm enjoying it, what am I on about? How stupid, what a dumb question. <laughs> it's just like the sweat's dripping a little bit. I'm obviously unfit because I haven't really done anything like this in nearly four weeks. But, oh, what a buzz, it's just so beautiful. be a funny, be quite hard to sleep maybe, but luckily I've got these with me, I'll pick these up on my way out, <laughs> the rear, the rear plug, so hopefully that might help, but yeah, the view's beautiful, got to find me a nice flat spot now, somewhere up here, planning, somewhere over there, so where I can see both sunset and sunrise hopefully, uh, yeah, a nice grassy flat spot, let's, let's go find it. <laughs> I'm walking around, give me something to do. And the views are becoming non existent now. <laughs> oh, what a bus! It's a nice adventure, isn't it? While I'm camping. <laughs> yeah. So, so windy. I've just dropped down to this little bit here and it's, obviously as you can tell now, it's, it's not windy here, but it's a little bit moist. <laughs> moist. It's not very flat here either. Like, it's a bit of an angle. But, I mean, I think I'm gonna have to, I ain't gonna, I'm not gonna get a spot that sees both sunrise and sunrise. I would have to be right up top and then that's going to mean I'm going to be in the wind. The wind is supposed to calm down to like six kilometers per hour later on tonight. So I'm hmm. going to keep looking around I think but this is definitely a, the most potential so far. Let's walk all the way around to Fanabin. <laughs> Could be in just over there. Can't see Penafang because it's in the clouds. But yeah, I've come all the way around here now. All in my quest to find a spot that's not very windy. <laughs> a massive difference already, look, just from dropping down there. Actually, two minutes down the hill. And, uh, yeah, beautiful. But the trouble is, it's just quite steep around here now. It's really steep. Everything's steep, and there's no flat ground. <laughs> and when you find a flat bit, it's soggy. We live so long that we figure out what a scam this is. We figure out that what you're supposed to work for isn't worth having. We figure out that our politicians are buffoons. We figure out that professional scientists are reputation-building, grab-tailing weasels. We discover that all organizations are corrupted by ambition. We figure it out. All right, I'm in. <laughs> what a mess this is. Like, watch when that wind gets up. This whole tent bends in. 
Yeah, I'm proper on a windy bit here. I'm not even going out there now. To oh, I'll go on, I'll show you. Oh, it's just a difficult opening. Then. Done it as good as I can for the conditions. Ten past seven now. Yeah, could be a long night. Might not be. I might sleep well after all that walking. Who knows? But we're gonna crack open a a West Coast IPA. I haven't had a can of beer for ages. A couple of months maybe. So it should go down nicely. I'm just gonna sit in my tent and hide away from the wind. <laughs> I don't want to go outside. God, the way it bends. Looks worse from outside as well. Never mind. Happy days. Happy I'm here. Let's have a look outside. I feel like my tent's stronger when all the doors are shut. <laughs> Pretty crazy. Anyway, I'll have this drink and uh, get some food and probably watch the non existent sunset because it's to be a little bit cloudy. But anyway, I'm not high enough to see like the final part of the sunset really. But I like seeing like this, just like the colour of the sky change. Anyway, it's fine. But yeah, it couldn't really be right up on the mountain, high enough as it is up here now. It's windy as shit. Uh, God, that tent looks like it's gonna bloody, it won't snap as strong. It's just a bit unnerving when it blows that far down that it touches your feet. <laughs> it's just touching my feet. Oh, there we go. Wow. That'll be fun anyway. So I was just on the phone to my dad, give him a little ring, saying, Dad, I'm on a mountain. I think it makes him happy sometimes. Well, it does, because he knows it makes me happy, I think, too. Yeah, so it's nice having a little chat, and I like, miss the sunset. Oh, look at that, eh? I was honestly considering packing my tent up at this point. I really don't understand how my tent could take so much battering by the wind. I was really surprised. I was thinking that it was going to snap any moment. One of those poles was just going to go ping, and that would be the end of my night. Oh, this wind is not messing about. <laughs> it's like, oh, it must be like 30 kilometers an hour up here. I'm just literally holding the tent up now. I'm surprised those poles didn't snap, to be fair. It's quite robust. I must have pitched it all right, but I'm not in the best spot. <laughs> I thought I was like in a bit of shelter from the mountain, but I'm not. It's just whipping around and over the, yeah. I'm gonna try and cook some food, but I mean, it's just blowing about. I'll just try and set this up now. <laughs> but this is what I'm gonna have or attempt to have. A bit of uh, basmati and wild rice. Again, obviously, always have a curry when I'm out. Oh my word, look at that. <laughs> but yeah, we'll see how we go. It's gonna be a hard night's sleep. I'm currently holding the door away <laughs> from this wind guard with my feet because it will, otherwise it would just knock the wind guard over. <laughs> But we're getting there. Curry's on the go. Wow. Got it done. You do, eh, about the wind? Not a lot. It's like wind and bear it, really. My cheddar forecast again. 
again. And I wish I could, well, I'm kind of glad that I didn't, but it's up to 34 mile per hour winds tonight. Probably might not have come out if I'd have seen that before. But, hey, we get me down, try to put the earplugs in, get some sleep, uh, <laughs> catch up in the morning, unless anything spectacular happens in the night, like my tent breaks, but it's holding up well to be fair, tent, be good, yeah, please don't hurt my tent, wind, yeah, good night people. Four hours later. slept through it somehow but it felt like I was listening to it all night but time's gone by I decided I'm going to get up because the sun rises at 6 so by the time I pack up and get walking up there I'll be back over the other side around about a good time to start watching the sunrise hopefully it's forecast again said so this going to be cloudy this morning but I looked out a minute ago and it's clear up there and there was some stars, it's nice and starry, I can't even, I'm not even going to bother trying to take a photo or video on my phone, but yeah. 4.30 now, mostly packed, just got to put my boots on and put this electrical, put my electrical things away. I lost a little thing, my little windshield cover, don't know where that's gone. Perhaps it'll turn up. I probably won't do much video footage on the way up until hopefully I see a sunrise because it's dark. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, the Rab Sleep Mat, Rab, Rab, whatever, you, however you want to say it, Rab if you're Northern or Rab if you're posh and from South. I'm not posh by any stretch of the imagination. I am from South. <laughs> nice sleep mat felt warm from below lovely nice it coupled well with my sleeping bag which uh, so finally got a four season mat and a four season bag <laughs> so yeah it was toasty last night so yeah all good all good the tent trusty tent held up thanks very much I haven't seen if there's any damage yet but I will check and uh, yeah catch back up with you later I had a quick look around for my windshield cover but that was probably in Brecon town by the time I woke up. As always left no trace. The clouds were rolling in and the views were non-existent but I made my way up to the summit of Fanabig. Just coming up to Fanabig now. Can't see a lot now. Oh the wind's calm for a minute. For a second. It was light enough to walk without a Right, a torch now. <sighs> no sunrise. <laughs> Ten minutes of walking, can't see anything, but who cares? Hardly any sleep, but who cares? Yeah. I think I was asking for a bit too much, like shelter from the wind, non boggy, flat, sunrise, and sunset view. Yeah, definitely asking for too much. Yeah. Interestingly, this flows all the way down to the waterfall I was at yesterday. <laughs> 